Hey there, this is Sage Intuitive, and I am here to do a general love reading for the collective. So we're just going to let spirit lead this reading. Um, we just had a full moon a couple days ago at the time of recording this. This reading is timeless, so whenever you come across is when you're meant to see this message. But there seem to be some um, changes, some shifts in energy. Um, maybe many of you have done some full moon rituals and did some releasing and things. So we're going to see what's going on in love for um, whoever needs it. All right. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This is a new channel, so I'm still trying to build. So I definitely appreciate every single subscription every single like share comment i appreciate all of that you guys have been so amazing in helping the channel grow and i can hope to continue to do that so let's see since it was a full moon recently i wanted to go ahead i was called to do the moonology don't let your past hold you back wow so straight out the gate i um i had already um, been feeling that a lot of people have released um, past situations recently, potentially released past situations, um, maybe uh, did some cord cutting in this full moon to try and detach yourself from things that have been holding you back. So it's so funny that this is the first card that came out um, because this is exactly how I've been feeling the last couple days. Um, so this is Spirit's way of reminding you that you cannot let past situations keep you from moving forward. Um, I feel like some of you have been um, wanting to be in a relationship if you're not in one. Or if you're talking to someone, you know, like not putting your full trust in it because of things that have happened in your past. And I think that this is your message here to say, don't let that hold you back. Don't let what's happened before hold you back. Um, so let's see where I want to start. Some messages about relationships for the collective. What do we need to know about this? Don't let your past hold you back. I saw a destiny, so it is your destiny to continue to move forward. Um, your destiny is coming in your, in your next phase once you release those past things because there is a purpose. There was a purpose for the things that were happening in your past, and it was meant for you to learn something, and it was meant for you to understand um understand something and where you're going you needed to understand that you needed to get some type of discipline as well um and so those past situations were helping you to get some clarity and um advance on some things if you're on a spirituality type of um journey it definitely was um helping you to really um balance out some things we have patience so um, I feel like some of you have had to be really patient in, in the area of love and relationships. Oh, man, relationships is the next card. So having to be really patient, you've been worried about um, potentially a particular type of friendship that you have with someone or maybe like a um, relationship that is needing that you have wanted to move to the next um phase there could have could be could have been some challenges or some other people involved that didn't need to be involved it could be friends doesn't necessarily have to be another um relationship partner but it could be could have been friends um that have been involved in your situation uh, maybe you or your person may discuss some things with friends and and I think instead of them helping you, they, it could have been more of an um, envious type of thing. But you are now learning to accept what is in front of you now when it comes to relationships. So whatever was going on in the past, definitely um, 
it's helping you release so that you can move to this next phase. You just are going to have to trust the process and follow your um, intuition. But be a little bit more empathetic to yourself when it comes to love and relationships. So what's going on with the relationships for the viewer? What is happening? The cards are like flying everywhere. What is happening in relationships? Yeah, you're completing a cycle when it comes to your to love and how you view love, um, how things have been going. You are ascending to the next level after some things that have been um, disruptive or it could have been like a tower moment that you've had because you were looking for the truth um, when it came to some type of love relationship you were looking for some truth and clarity and you are now gaining that clarity you're ascending to the next um to the next stage someone here is dealing with someone who's envious of them be careful of some some so-called friends because there is someone that is envious of of you and your um you and your situation they could be trying to take you out of your comfort zone um, but this is about your security, working on that um, root chakra is about security, going past any type of conflicts and obstacles. So this is what's, what many of you have released during this full moon. Um, some of you have have felt like you've, been, you've taken some type of emotional loss when it comes to relationship, even financial loss in some cases. But this has been your time to um rejuvenate some of you have manif manifested or meditated on what it is that you want when it comes to um your relationships and so i think with this full moon that just passed you all have really really um moved release some things and that's probably exactly why don't let your past hold you back some of you have decided you know what screw it um the past hasn't hasn't helped me um, living in this past has not helped me. So now let's move forward. Let's release it and move forward. What else is going on when it comes to how the viewer is dealing with relationships? Oh my God. So you could be getting a lot of signs and synchronicities, but this is because you're going through some type of karmic completion. So or for those of you who decided to let things go, you, you definitely have started to close the cycle and completed this karmic cycle that you probably were stuck in. Have some compassion with yourself, especially if you are um, really like trying to learn how to deal with uh, this situation. Some of you may need to consult with someone. Um, get your spirit spiritual family to help you. Some of you have surrendered to the divine finally. Oh my gosh. So there has been there are quite a few of you who have been um who have decided to just leave some things along because all these different decks in the same message is coming out. Um I think that's amazing. There could be some communication coming in um uh, regards to love. Someone is finally wanting to put in some effort um because now they have completed some type of karmic cycle as well, so they're ready to put in effort. You could be getting some um, signs and music, so maybe you're hearing uh, music. Um, your person could be telepathically sending you um, songs, if you will. Um, but there is a change that's, that's happening. For some of you, your person wants to be physical with you. Um, take that as it resonates. Um, some, some are wanting to... Um, wanting forgiveness for whatever it is that they had done um to you and i think that that's amazing now that someone is coming to some type of realization what's happening in love for the viewer wow ten of cups so there's going to be this emotional new um you're going to get fulfillment this emotional fulfillment that is coming in for you um, after there have been some secrets, maybe some breadcrumbing that had been happening from somebody and some of you decided to walk away, but you walking away from this situation is going to, is bringing you your, um, your 10 of cups at the end of the day. What else is happening with the viewer and their love life, please?
anything else happening with the viewer and their love life. Yeah, for those of you ha who have um, had decided to to walk away, it was probably because the situation was very um, toxic, so you didn't know what to do. Um, in this situation, you could have felt like you were always fighting or like trying to defend yourself. Um, and that was what was really causing uh, some strife with this. Especially this could have been a person from, from the past. But this is also your wish fulfillment. Or you're walking into your wish fulfillment. If anything, you're finally walking into it. Yeah, because you balanced out the scales and you've learned what it is that you need to learn when it when it comes to relationships. You learned whatever lesson that was in that past um, situation. Yeah, this was a huge burden towards for you, but now here you are with the Two of Cups energy after all of this pain and suffering that some of you felt like you were in. This Two of Cups is coming towards you. You could be um, dealing with a water sign, a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer, um, but there's going to be a need, uh, you know, a, something for, for you to celebrate about in the coming um, weeks or the coming months, something to celebrate could be three months, three weeks um, that this this could be coming in for you. My nose started itching when I gave those dates, so maybe that is something significant for some of you. Some of you have, have been trying to hold on to this, to um, like this, this conflict and holding on to um, wanting to be defensive when it comes to love and relationships. And that is not doing anything, but you're kind of like breaking your own heart by doing that because you're focusing on the past where you need to be in this empress energy where you're re ready to um, go out, be a, a bright person in the world, birth those new things, be beautiful, be nurturing and, and be empathetic um, to to the per your person or that your person is going to finally be that way to you. But I feel like for some of you, um, your person is seeing you as the empress energy, male or female. It does not matter. Oh, my God, because they want to really marry you. And this is unexpected to you. You didn't know that they were feeling this way about you at all. And you have had a lot of patience, but things have balanced out with that temperance card. Things have finally balanced. Could be, could it be with a um, fire sign with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you could be dealing with? But there is some clarity that's going to come in. But this person is thinking about marriage, thinking about commitment, thinking about stability. And this clarity is something new for you. But that's what you've been asking for. You've been wanting um, this and it's finally here for you. Let's get a final message. Final message for you and your love interest or what's happening in love. Final message, please, for you and your person in love. I wanted to do a, a nice quick reading here. So past life relationships. So you are dealing with someone who is a soulmate. And that is what is um, why this connection feels so strong for you. So that is what I have for you. I hope that this was helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Let me know if any of this story relates to you. What you have released in this um, past a uh, full moon if you're looking at it at this time or what is it that you've recently released because there is probably there is probably a reason why you're guided to watch this video all right so don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon take care